welcome back to this uh, second half of the lecture. Uh, in the earlier part, in the last we have stated a corollary and we want to give a proof of that corollary first. So, proof of corollary 4. So, that is we have defined a map from k algebraic points in L power n. So, the map we defined was from k algebraic points points in L power n to the set of uh, maximal ideals in R. R is the polynomial ring in n variable over k. Remember that and this map is A going to i k of a and uh, the assertion is if L is algebraically close then this map is uh, I called it phi then phi is surjective. This is very important. So, first let us prove this and then there is a part uh, when two points go to the same ideal what happens to them? They are precisely the k conjugates then. Alright, so first let us prove this. I want to prove it is surjective. So, start with any maximal ideal and I am looking for an algebraic point in L power n. So, that that point go to the given maximal ideal. So, let m is in the maximal spectrum of R. We want to prove, want to prove that this m must be of the form i k of a for some a in L power n which is k algebraic. Algebraic point. This is what. So, we are looking for a. Alright. So, we have given a maximal ideal. So, it is a proper ideal in particular. This is what we want to prove. So, m is given. So, look at V L of m and what do we know? This is a proper ideal in R and L is algebraically close. Therefore, I can apply H n S 1 and conclude that this is non-empty. This is non-empty by H n S 1. So, that means, so that is there exists at least one point there. There exists A in L power n such that A belongs to this V L of m. So, I caught hold of A. Now, I should prove that uh, this, uh, this A is an algebraic point and also this, this equality. So, so, now for this note that what is the relation between uh, A and M, uh, I k and M. So, M is a maximal ideal and you see this point A is in point A is in this that means every polynomial in M it will vanish at A. But these are all polynomials in R which vanish at A. Therefore, clearly m is contained in i k of a which is contained in r. Now, uh, note that this is also proper ideal that we have noted because not one cannot vanish at any point. Therefore, the one the constant polynomial one is not here that means this is a proper ideal and this is maximal therefore, better be equal it here. So, therefore, m has to be equal to i k of a. So, this is clear. So, we proved the equality. Now, it remains to prove that this point must be algebraic point. Alright. Now, what did we prove in earlier corollary? Earlier corollary we have proved that if this i k of a is a maximal ideal then that point must be algebraic. But now by corollary 3 
A is key algebraic point in L power n since I k of A is a maximum ID. in R. That is precisely what we proved in corollary 3 that uh, i k is maximal if and only if the point is algebraic. All right. So, uh, we have proved the first part of this corollary and the next for the proof of next part what do we need to prove. So, now it remains to prove that Uh, phi a equal to phi b for a b in L power n k algebraic points if and only if if and only if a and b are k conjugates this is what we need to prove. All right, for this I will state one simple lemma which is useful in its own right and therefore, uh, when we prove that this will follow immediately from that lemma. So, let us go back to the I will state that lemma. Uh, okay, so, I will just mention here now we use the following lemma. So, what is the lemma? All right. So, we will use the similar notation. So, lemma all right. So, uh, first of all uh, a and B let A comma B be in L power n. All right, then the following are equivalent. So, what are the statements? Um, one, the two ideals are equal i k a equal to i k b. Uh, two, a and b are k conjugates. Actually, we are interested in 1 if and only if 2. That is what we wanted to prove. If the two ideals are equal, then they are k conjugates. So, if we prove lemma, the proof of the corollary 4 will be finished. And third one, third one is also very interesting. So, if I take the singleton A and the closure of that equal to singleton B and the closure of that. Now, so, where note that we have defined a topology on L power n. So, where this A bar is the closure of singleton A, which is a subset of L in the Zarisky topology. What is the closure of a subset in a topological space? Let me just recall quickly. So, if x is a topological space 
and y is a, a subset of x then the closure of y in x is the smallest close subset of x which contain y and it is denoted by y closure y bar here. Also this is general definition in a general topological space. Here we have a Zariski topology on this L where the closed sets are precisely the k algebraic sets and this is the closure of that. This singleton A may not be closed. So, closure of that is the, the smallest closed set which contain A. All right. So, we will prove the equivalence of this proof of lemma. All right. What do we know? We know that we know that this i k is definitely prime ideal that we have observed earlier because uh, r mod i k of a this is isomorphic to k a 1 to a n this is a k sub algebra of L generated by L uh, generated k sub algebra of L generated by a 1 to a n. So, which is uh, may not be a field but if we assume the points are algebraic then definitely this is a, a maximal ideal right so this isomorphism you know this isomorphism is as a k algebra isomorphism all right so uh, so we have this so let us put put closure of A bar, uh, closure of A, this is a closed set, this is a smallest closed set which contains the point A, this I want to call it W. So, what is W? W must be, so this is K algebraic subset of L power n and because by definition it is close and is the smallest because it is a closure smallest k algebraic uh, subset of L power n and it contains with A belonging to W that is W. All right. Now, uh, because now what is the relation between W and I k? So, let us write down. So, first of all note that uh, what is um, uh, W, see W and uh, we have an ideal I k, this is ideal in R and I can take V of that, V L of this. So, now this is also in L n this is also in ln and what is the relation between the two so this one is by definition all those points which vanish at this all these polynomials in this so this is the zero common zero set of all polynomials which vanish at a and w w contains a therefore uh, uh, w I want to claim that this is contained here because if I want to check that this w is contained here I must prove that uh, uh, no this this will follow just from the fact that it is the smallest. So, because note that a belongs here a belongs here and therefore and this is also close because it is a k algebraic set but this was the smallest therefore, this is contained here. So, this I would say simply by definition of closure.
this is contained here. On the other hand, what do I know? On the other hand, I know A belonging to W. So, singleton A is contained in W. Therefore, when I apply I k, I k reverses the inclusion. So, therefore, this will imply I k of A is bigger than I k of W. But what do we know about I k? Um, Huh. So, it, it, it contain this therefore, if I apply V L now on both sides. So, that implies V L of I k A which is contained in V L of I k W, but this is equal to W, but this contains W that we have just noted therefore, all are equal. Therefore, uh, from here also we can conclude this is equal. So, all together we conclude all together we know that I k V I k A equal to I k W. So, the closure and the point have the same ideal. So, this is also I k of by definition I k of the closure of A. And remember we have used H n S because we have used these equalities that V and L are we have proved the ideals are equal. Now, look at the exact sequence. So, this also proves by the way the, uh, okay. So, I do not need any more. So, uh, we consider we have exact sequences which are the exact sequences 0 i k a to r and to k a 1 to a n to 0 this is our evaluation map at A and then similarly for B. Then we have epsilon B k a 1 to a n uh, b 1 to b n b 1 to b n to 0 and this is a k algebra isomorphism this is a k algebra homomorphism k algebra homomorphism this is also k algebra homomorphism surjective this is surjective and this is the kernel of this and what is what is the, that we wanted to prove we wanted to prove that the points are conjugates that means if there is a k algebra isomorphism here which maps ai to bi then the ideals are equal right that was one of the uh, so let me show you four the statement all right so you see here two ideals are equal if they are conjugates and if the closures are equal so Fine. So, now from this exact sequence, from these two exact sequences, if there is a k algebra isomorphism here, that means they are k conjugates, these points. And then uh, if this is a, this maps A to B, then there is an uh, identity map here, is equal identity map here will make this diagram commutative because uh, what does epsilon a do to a polynomial you evaluate at a is 
but A i is goes to B i. So, they, it will go to the same evaluation. So, this also will go to the same evaluation. So, this diagram is commutative and therefore, um, from here uh, we will prove that if this is an isomorphism these two ideals are equal then. So, so what we prove is um, if if this is an isomorphism then this is so that proves so this proves 3 implies 1. not 3, 2 implies 1. See, because 2 either are conjugates and the ideals are equal. So, if they are conjugates that means, there is a k algebra isomorphism which maps A to B i. Therefore, this the diagram will commutative with identity map here and therefore, the kernels are same therefore, these two are equal that is precisely A. This proves this implication. All right. Um, uh, and what about the third one? Now, you note that A closure equal to we have noted already this that is V L of I A and I A equal to i i k these are all i k's v l of i k a this is by null standards again this is by h n s this is by h n s i applied to this ideal no h n s 2 and this we have noted above uh, uh, the, the that also proves, uh, but on the other hand this is also we have noted that this is also closure. So, this is i k of a closure, these are we have noted above here. So, since these equalities are noted above O, uh, it follows that the proof the proof of lemma follows. So, uh, once again let me just show you. So, we have proved 1 implies 2 well, actually 1 if and only if 2 we have proved because um, this and then uh, these closures are equal also that we have checked if the closures are if the closures are this if the ideals are equal closures are same and so. So, I would just say verify this. in detail. It is not difficult, it is just tying up things together. All right. So, that proves corollary 4. Now, the next corollary that is also very important. So, let me write on the next page corollary 5. This is also some form of H n S. So, uh, let us call it H n S 4. What is the corollary? We are now assuming capital K equal to capital L is algebraically close. This is actually the classical case, this is classical. So, if L equal to k is algebraically close for example, you could take k equal to c, k equal to L equal to c or k equal to L equal to q bar 
where this is arithmetic geometry when you take k equal to q. In this case then the map we have a natural map from k power n to SPM of k x 1 to x n. There is no other field other than k and it is assumed to be algebraically close the a point a a 1 to a n these maps to m a which is by definition ideal generated by x 1 minus a 1 etcetera etcetera x n minus a n. We have already checked earlier that such a maximal ideal always belong here, such a ideal always belong there and the map is also injective that also we have already checked earlier, but this corollary say that this map is bijective. Also remember all points are now algebraic because uh, everybody is in, in k power n. So, each a i is algebraic over k in fact it is an element in k. Okay, so, this map is bijective moreover uh, what is c of any ideal. So, moreover uh, let uh, this map is called phi in fact it is the same. So, phi of V now instead of L I will write K V K of an ideal A. So, for an ideal A in the ring polynomial ring over a field we have image of this closed set, this is a closed set in K n, the closed set in K n with respect to the Zariski topology, image of that closed set is what? Image of that closed set is precisely all those maximal ideals m. Now, let me call it okay, k x 1 to x n, which should contain a a is contained in M. All right. So, uh, we have already checked this map is injective and we have already checked in corollary 4 it is surjective because this is nothing but I A. All right. So, uh, so proof injectivity is clear. In fact, for any field, in fact, for every field K, for that you do not need injectivity. Also, uh, I should have said before this, MA is clearly in the SPM. This is this is because uh, remember I gave a proof by using Taylor's theorem. And uh, now to uh, surjectivity, surjectivity follows from the first part. of corollary 4 which needs this needs k algebraically close. So, uh, subject, so therefore, it is bijective therefore, phi is bijective. 
so injectivity of phi surjectivity of phi and therefore bijectivity is clear now what is moreover moreover i want to prove that if i take a point here if i take this is this is the point and this is the phi of that so what do you need to prove also what do we need uh, what is the relation between a so so note that a point a belongs to v k of an ideal if and only if a is contained in the maximal ideal m a this is very clear because if a belongs here means a vanish at every point of every polynomial in the ideal a this every polynomial in the ideal a vanishes at this a therefore that polynomial will belong to this ideal that is clear because this is precisely the maximal ideal is precisely all polynomials which vanish at when you evaluate a1 to an so this implication is clear similarly if a polynomial belongs here then it vanish at a yeah, that means this implication is clear and this means so if i take any point on the lhs here then phi of that will obviously phi of a is ma so that is this so this this proves proves the last part that proves corollary 5 and also i want to remark here okay the remark will come after the next corollary so let me prove the next corollary so corollary 6 what is the corollary 6 says corollary 6 says um, that if i have any ideal so let k be a field and a an ideal in the polynomial ring in uh, several variables or one variable i of kx x may be several variables or one variable finitely many but um and and e over k be any field extension so let k be a field a be an ideal in the polynomial ring and e over k be the f any field extension then when i extend this ideal a to the polynomial ring over e this is not equal to ex if a is a non unit ideal so if somebody is a proper ideal then when i extend it to the field k field e then also it is a it is also proper ideal that is the meaning of this this is proper this is also if this is proper that is also proper normally it it is not true under a field exchange uh, under arbitrary extensions um, ideals may be equal after uh, that for example if you take the ring of integers and q this is not a field of course but this is a field if i take ideal generated by 2 here and extend that ideal generated by 2 to q this is a unit ideal in q because it's a non zero ideal and field has only two ideals either a unit ideal or a zero ideal so this is so proof all right so we have given suppose if the ideal a is a proper ideal in kx then i know vl 
of A is non empty. So, if you like, you can take L equal to algebraic closure of K. Or you can take better, you do not take algebraic so. So, take where you can take L equal to algebraic closure of E, bigger field. This is the algebraic closure of E. It is algebraically closed, therefore, this is by HNS1. We have an ideal below which is proper then the VL of that must be non empty set. But then that implies what is VL of extended ideal A E x. If, if A is generated we know A is generated by finitely many polynomials with coefficients in K, but this extended ideal will also be generated by the same generating set. This is generated by those polynomials whose coefficients are in k. So, if a is generated by f 1 to f m, this is also generated by f 1 to f m, there is no problem. And so, this is a common zeros of these polynomials in L, therefore, this is this set is not changing which is non empty. So, here is an ideal in this polynomial ring in E x and V l of that set is uh, non empty, then this ideal cannot be unit ideal, because if it is a unit ideal one will belong there and then this set will be empty set. So, therefore, this ideal cannot be the unit ideal in this. So, here I just want to mention uh, just for clarity, this x is many variables x1 to xn. All right, so that proves corollary 6. Uh, I have few more corollaries, but we do not have time now, and uh, we will continue this in the next lecture along with some more uh, consequences of HNS, and then we will go to once we finish this, uh, this is a big cornerstone in algebraic geometry. Once we finish this, then we will go to topological properties of the uh, Zariski topology on L power n. Thank you very much. See you in the next lecture.